Hello, my name is Riley Williams. Today we will be exploring Epic. Epic is a digital tool that gives you access to books, read alouds, and videos. In this video, you will learn how to set up your Epic account and how to begin using Epic with your students. Here is how you get started with Epic. First, you will need to create your educator account. You can use your iPad or laptop to sign up. Use your Ori County Schools email address when creating your account. Once you have created your account, you will be able to add students. You can type students' names or import your students by using Google Classroom. In the classroom, students can sign into their Epic account using the class code. You can find your class code under account settings. Students have access to all the resources on Epic when they are at school. I recommend posting your class code somewhere in your classroom just in case a student gets signed out. When a student logs into Epic, their screen will show their name and their classmates. You will need to be sure to teach students to look for their names. Students can explore and search for books on Epic. Epic has features that will read to students, which is great for engaging all students. There is a video option, which can be turned off in the settings if you only wish for your students to read when on Epic. Another great feature is you can send students books that you would like them to read. Students can favorite books, so they can build a collection of their own favorite stories. All they have to do is click the heart in the top left corner, and it will save all of their favorite books in one spot to go back and read again. If students are using Epic at home for distance learning, you can send them, you can send an invitation to a parent or guardian three different ways. You can send them instructions over email. Another way you could download a flyer to print and send home. And the last way is to send an invitation using Remind or Class Dojo. Once a parent accepts your invitation to connect to class, you will see the word Enabled underneath the Parent Connect status column on your roster. Students are able to use Epic during school hours and for two additional hours on the weekend. If you would like your students to have access to books after school, you can turn on the after school hour setting. This will give students access to a smaller library during after school hours. So again, that's how you create your educator account and begin using Epic when students are reading. Join our session to learn more about utilizing Epic to foster digital engagement. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our other resources.